how would you like to taste Italy's best kept wine secret? And here's the thing, it's 50% cheaper than the expensive stuff. If you want to try all the best parts of an Amarone, but without the big price tag, why don't you go for a Rapasso? When you're going to make a standard bottle of wine, the grape growers pick their grapes in late September or early October, and then they put them in their vats or their barrels and they make their wine, but not with Amarone. If you are Amarone grapes, when everyone else is having their Christmas dinner, you are actually resting in a place drying. What they do with the best grapes for Amarone is they pick them berry by berry and they leave them dry for 120 days. That's four months. And what happens in those four months is that the berries, the fresh grapes, actually dehydrate and become raisins. They dehydrate by 40%. And what you end up with are very intense, rich, and even a little bit sweet berries. And your Amarone wine is made out of effectively really, really posh raisins. It tastes delicious. It has loads of layers of prunes and figs and spices and chocolate and mocha and all these delicious things. And it normally ends up at about 15% alcohol. So what makes a Rapasso a baby Amarone? What makes it the next best alternative? What they do with those really, really high quality raisin skins is not bin them, they keep them. And they repasso, repass them through the next best quality of the Val Policello wine. And what that does is, over time, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks, they let those raisin skins macerate and they take into the juice all that spiciness, that richness, those layers, all that complexity. So you end up with all the best bits of Amarone, in your Valpolicella Rapasso bottle and at half the price. Here's the best bit. What does it actually taste like, this beautiful alternative to Amarone? Valpolicella Rapasso. First of all, you give it a smell. Really intense. On the nose, there's also these kind of chocolate, mocha, spicy notes. And you've also got really kind of rich cherry flavors. And that delivers, and that's exactly what you're looking for. You want all the layers, all the complexity, and all the intensity with 50% less on the price tag. The flavor stays in your mouth a really, really long time. I always judge a wine by how long the flavor stays in your mouth. The longer it lasts, the better it is. And I guarantee you, I'll be tasting this long after this video is finished. The flavors here, definitely chocolate spice, a little bit of vanilla, um, and I would think a little bit of raspberry ripple ice cream, if anyone likes that. Also some delicious cherry flavors, summer fruits, and then layers and layers of raisins and prunes and figs. It's absolutely delicious. And it's got quite a, a weighty mouthfeel. I would say medium to full bodied. And if you're gonna pair some food with this, because it's such a strong wine, I would also pair it with quite a strong food. There's nothing better than a really strong cheese dipped in really nice honey and a glass of Amarone. It sounds a bit crazy, but it's what you would have if you were there. So why don't you try some Gruyere cheese dipped in some lovely honey and this Valpolicella Rapasso and you are in for a good night. Sometimes when you pick up your bottle of Valpolicella Rapasso, you might notice a few extra words on the label. Superiore and Classico, both of which are on this bottle. What do they mean and are they actually just wine jargon? No, they're not. They're telling you something very important. Superiore refers to the fact that the wine has 0.5% higher alcohol than its typical counterparts. It's really special one Classico and I love that it exists. And the reason being is that Years ago, when the wine appellations were all identified, Suave is one of them, this is obviously a Val Policella. The original Val Policella area was defined, but then just outside that area, there were farmers and grape growers and vineyard owners who'd say, hey, we make the same grapes, we're in the same area, we have this, the same climate and the same soil, can we also not be Val Policella? So the area would have been extended. So to keep everybody happy, 
especially the originals, they identified that that original area is the Classico area. So Classico Superiore, like in this bottle, is telling you that it's from the original area, so it should be maybe a little bit better. If you are enjoying your bottle of Rapasso Valpolicella, you are getting a wine from Northern Italy. Italy is a really big country. Southern Italy, it's really hot. Northern Italy, it's actually quite cold. That's where there's snow on the mountains. What food are you gonna have with your Valpol Rapasso? So you're thinking Northern Italy, a little bit cold, rich, warm, hearty dishes. Anything from that area is perfect. For me, if I was gonna have it tonight, I might have it with maybe some braised lamb, some grilled pork, maybe a mushroom risotto, shave a bit of Parmesan on, shave a little bit of truffle on, delicious. What have you had with your Valpal Rapasso? Comment below. If you would like to try this delicious Valpolicella Rapasso, which I highly recommend, and you live in Ireland, why don't you order it from the Nude Wine Company? We deliver nationwide. If you aren't in Ireland, don't worry, we've got your back. You can sign up to our newsletter and learn loads about amazing wines like this Valpolicella Rapasso. Thank you for watching.